hopelessness makes us to age very fast. Some of us who are in our 50 or thereabout, we have some of our age mates who are already getting wrinkled. It is not because they lack food to eat or clothing or life essential. The problem is they became hopeless. When you become hopeless in life, it ages you very fast. And if you don't stop the process, it leads to early death. Hopelessness makes you to hands off, handing off your life from trying for that, believing that things have gotten to an end. And if you are not careful, it leads to terminal challenges like terminal diseases. I want you to be like Caleb today. Caleb at 85 told Joshua, as my strength was when I was younger, so it is now. One thing I want you to understand about human strength is not often about the physical rigor running up and down. It's more about the resilience of a spirit that don't give up. Even at 80, at 90, there are new creations, new thoughts that you need to give back to the world. When your thought is ebullient and full of bountifulness, it will definitely redound in good health, good life, joy, peace, happiness. Those who are hopeless have lost the, uh, the touch of living. Those who are hopeless have already died. All they are doing is existing. This is why you should not be counted among the hopeless ones in your generation. The truth remains, people who have been through much more traumatic situations than you have come out, excelled, and made new meaning in their lives. You too, live again. Don't be hopeless.